Hi there, Tyler with Caster Concepts. Thought I'd check in with another frequently asked question that we hear in the office, and that's how do I preload my bearings? Um, what is that, and how does it apply to me? Um, so, preloading your bearings only applies when you're using a tapered bearing application. Um, applications where you'd want to use a tapered bearing are anything that's going to be towed or tugged or pushed. Um, not by hand, by something mechanically or an AGV perhaps, um, have any side load or impact loading. Um, so here I've got a tapered bearing, you've got your cone and your cup, um, there'll be a spacer that helps keep the cone and cup together. Um, if it's not in there properly or not preloaded, you could see your bearing like this or even worse out like this. When you ride and it's not all the way in, that's going to cause damage to the bearing fairly quickly and a wheel failure for you. Um, so how you can tell whether your tapered bearing caster is preloaded or not is you'll tighten it all the way down. you want to loosen it up a little bit. When you come over here, you should get between half and one rotations. That's how you know that it's um, preloaded. Now, another way to check is to come over here and grab the wheel actually and move it up and down to see if there's any play. When, you don't, when you've got none, that's how you know that you're preloaded. Um, so um, here I've got a ball bearing caster. You can see as I spin that, just goes and goes and goes and goes. Um, so you can see that that's really not your tapered uh, bearing in there um, and that's an easy way to tell. Um, so next time you have a tapered bearing and you're not sure how to preload it or have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, if you like content like this, please subscribe for more.